you know, I said before that updates and fixes are my favorites, but actually I think this one might be mine. Let's start there. Yes, because of course, this is where we get to see what everybody will be able to unlock over the next month or so. Uh, so first of all, uh, let's start right at the top with those festival playlist rewards. Uh, for 50% completion, you can get yourself a backstage pass. What is a backstage pass? What does it do? Well, we'll find out more about that a little bit later on. 80% gets you the Toyota Truno, the AE86. So if you love drifting, you need to get 80% completion on your festival playlist. Into summer and 50% completion gets you a brand new car, the GMC Cyclone. Whereas 80% complete gets you another chance at their 2003 Renault Clio. Uh, if we could move on. A click, there we go. So one thing I just want to call out at this point is the Fortathon Weekly. Uh, that requires you to have a vintage racer. I just want you to try and remember that fact for around about the next 12 seconds. Okay, so in the trial, uh, you can get yourself another chance at the Rossian Q1, and in the seasonal playground games, with another shot at the Jaguar I-Pace. Now, if we click forward. Um, in the best or nothing season event, you can get the Mercedes-Benz W154. That is a vintage racer, which would normally set you back about 10 million credits. So if you're looking to do the weekly Forza-thon, you could spend 10 million credits in the auto show, or you could com complete this uh, championship and get that car for free. Uh, other thing to call out here is the uh, Ferrari 488 Pista in the We Are The Competition season event. Now, if we move on to autumn, all right, so for 50% in the autumn, you can get the Zenvo TSRS. That's the one with the crazy wing that does all crazy angles while you're driving around. And 80%, there's the VW IDR. And moving forward. I'm just going to quickly call out the um, Fortson Weekly, which includes one of the greatest cars of all time, the 2005 BMW M3. Um, the trial is another shot at the 85 Mazda RX-7. And clicking forward. That's right, we have the 2018 ITAL Design Zeruno in the Hyperspace Express season event. And the, oh yeah, one more click. That's right, it's the uh, 1973 Toyota Corolla in the One of Us season event. Now let's check out winter. Another brand new car, 50% completion in winter, gets you the GMC Typhoon, whereas 80% gets you another shot at the Ford Supervan 3. That's that van with the crazy racing engine in it. Uh, another thing to call out at this point is the photo challenge. Take a photo of any Nissan in front of the Bamba Castle and then tag it with the hashtag Castle in the Sky, and everyone on social media will think that you are partying like it is 2002. Now, move on. <laughs> There is, for the trial, the uh, 1995 uh, Toyota MR2. And in the Playground Games, there is another shot at the uh, 1970 Ford GT70. Uh, move on. And yes, there is another chance to relive your Sega Rally fantasies by completing the Rally Round the Flag season event and unlocking the 94 Toyota Celica. And if we click on to spring... Yes, so it is old yeller, 50% completion in spring, gets you the HSV GTSR, while 80% gets you the Formula D 599. And one more click. Um, yes, so the trial uh, is another very, very expensive car, the Ferrari 250 LM, so don't miss out that. And then one click to close it all out. Yes, but and last, but by no means least, is the Hennessy Velociraptor. You can unlock that car in the Into the Wilderness Championship. And may as well mention it while we're here, that McLaren Speedtail in the New Rules Championship. So all up, I think this update has some amazing cars, both brand new cars and returning cars. So there's absolutely loads to get your teeth stuck into this update. And talking of lots of cars, uh, I did say we we're going to talk a little bit more about the Car Pass Car Packs as well. So should we have a look and see what we got on offer there? Pretty much did all my speed traps in was that one car. So definitely one to check out. Um, but moving on to the next bit, this is actually my favorite time. Every time we get to talk about new features and new things coming, um, we do have the Horizon backstage here. And it also feels a bit silly saying it's a new feature. I'll let you guys explain, but I'm really keen to uh, hear a bit more about this. 
Yeah, so uh, Eagle Eye viewers might have spotted this uh, mysterious H on the mini-map uh, in the last stream. Definitely intentional. Glad people picked up on it because we've been really sad that people didn't. Uh, so, um, yeah, and, and what a festival is complete without a highly exclusive backstage area. And, you know, if you're at a never-ending festival, you're going to want access to those uh, backstage amenities, nice clean toilets, that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> it's available in <laughs> it's available in the world, um, and we're just uh, just going to watch this drive up to it, take us on a nice little uh, winter tour. Um, the festival site. There's the main stage. And we're just I will say, if you've just updated the, clean toilets into the game, I'm sold. That's enough for me. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of work to get that in. Uh, <laughs> so here we are at the Horizon Backstage. So it's a place in the in the world, or it's also available in the pause menu. Shout out to Zomb Gamer Twelve, who was uh, playing at the same time as me, um, filming this video. Um, so yeah, it's it's a new feature um, that launches, and it basically gives everyone uh, a great way to. Essentially, we've added a whole ton of cars in the last couple of years, and this gives players uh, a new way in which they can get access to them. So getting 50% in the series uh, in the festival playlist gives you a backstage pass, which you can then use to exchange for a car in the Horizon backstage. Um, you'll notice there's four in there at the moment. When it launches, we'll just have that 99 Lotus. Um, but we also have this interesting tile here, which is community vote. So we'll be running votes where cars will face off against one another. And you, yes, you, not you, Charlie and Mike, but the community Aww. players, yeah, well, you can vote as well. Um, oh, I will. They will be able to vote between uh, between two cars. Um, votes last for um, so initially we'll be running a daily vote uh, just to fill out the horizon backstage. So we'll have that Lotus on its own, and we want to give him a lot of friends to um, to play with. So uh, in this instance, I've locked my vote in. And you'll get a little message saying how many other people have voted. So if you want to go on Reddit or Discord and, and get your friends to vote for you know, a car, try and sway the vote a bit, a bit of voter manipulation, I think that's okay in this instance. Um, that will allow you to uh, yeah, get to see that car get added to the Horizon Backstage. And um, like I said, we're going to be having a vote every day from October 15th for a week. And thereafter, we'll be having a car added every week in a vote. So yeah, really exciting. Gives the players another great way uh, to choose what rewards they want to get. You know, sometimes people don't like the, the rewards that are in the playlist. And yeah, I think this gives people some great uh, flexibility and choice to get some of those cars that may not have been in the game since um, Series 5 or 6. So yeah, really excited about this feature. And nice. with, with community voting, never has democracy been more important than when you get to vote on which cars appear in the backstage. <laughs> well, that's a solid factor for me. I love democracy. <laughs> right, okay. So we hopped on and we had a l little look at the Series 28 cards earlier when we were in the festival playlist. Let's have a deep dive on them now, though, because some of them are a bit spicy. Yes, they are. So right now we are looking at the GMC Cyclone. Uh, as we called out a little bit earlier on in the show, but you may have missed it if you've just tuned in, you can unlock this one for completing 50% of your festival playlist in summer. Uh, it is a, a really cool, really interesting car. So when this launched uh, right at the, the dawn of the 90s, um, it was actually the, the fastest accelerating production car in the world, beating out Ferrari's fastest car of the time, um, which frankly makes no sense because it's a pickup truck um so it, it is a an absolutely ridiculous car really really tuned to the to the really peak of its performance um and yeah it, it's an absolute demon on the drag strip um rocking at about 280 horsepower um and not to not to 60 in about four seconds or four and a half seconds I, that is in Again, that is a truck in 1991 doing 0-60 in four and a half seconds, which is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, and all this you could, you could purchase for around about $30,000. Um, but that's not all. The, um, the Cyclone had a, a sister car, which if we can uh, click on to the other clip, we can take a look at the GMC Typhoon, um, which is a very, very similar car. It has the same engine, same, same chassis, but is the SUV version of the truck. So 
Um, if you wanted to get a couple extra people in the back, then you could purchase this one. Also available in a suite of colors, such as red and blue. Um, <laughs> whereas the truck was only available in black. Um, again, this is, uh, it is actually a really cool car because it just has absolutely ludicrous performance. It has a real uh, cult following and also uh, has a, a few celebrity owners. Uh, Jay Leno used to use one as his daily driver, as did Clint Eastwood. So whereas you may imagine Clint Eastwood scowling at his Ford Gran Torino, um, he was actually tricking around in, in one of these, uh, probably blasting people uh, um, at stop signs and um, show, sh just blasting past Ferraris uh, as, they, as the light goes green. Um, <laughs> shall we take a look at the next car, Tom? Yeah, so uh, this is the Hen Hennessy Velociraptor. Um, notable owners include uh, Post Malone, which means after Malone, and they only make 30 of these a year, so that <laughs> that, that is 180 tyres a year, so, you know, those of you are counting. Um, yeah. Mike, so it's a more interesting fact yeah. about this car, please. <laughs> so, so H Hennessy, uh, the... Uh, <laughs> So Hennessy, the manufacturer of this car, they, they are like a, a tuning house and they've obviously taken the, the Ford Ranger Raptor and then tuned it to the absolute limit. Um, in order to get that extra traction, they have seen fit to add uh, an extra couple of wheels, which just uh, opens up more possibilities when you're actually taking it off-road and wanting to move around in snow or wet mud. It's around 600 brake horsepower, uh, all that out of the actually the standard three and a half litre V6 twin turbo that does come in the Ranger Raptor. It's just been uh, tuned to the absolute peak performance. Um, 0 to 60 actually is around about the same as the uh, the GMC Cyclone and Typhoon, which is interesting given that this is you know th 30 years or so uh, more modern. Um, I guess that, that it does have the disadvantage of having to carry around about three tons of weight. Um, yeah, but it's a really really exclusive car, as Tom pointed out. There's Hennessy are producing very very few of them. I think only about 50 for the US market. And prices start around three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So, if you have been wanting a Ford Ranger Raptor that had an extra meter of, of trunk space, then I guess this is for you. Um, you can unlock this one just to, to finish off in the Into the Wilderness Championship in spring. I love that car. There's just something about.